Hello and welcome back to another Bendy Works blog post video. Uh, my name is Ryan Corbin and I have John Major. And uh, we were talking in a previous video about Ionic 3 geolocation and now we're going to show you how to do it in Ionic 4. Mm -hmm. uh, the differences are not that striking but there are yeah. definitely some small things that could catch you up. So we just want to, you know, we want to make sure that your experience is smooth. Have you tried Ionic 4 yet? Uh, a little bit. Um, been trying out uh, Ionic 4, trying to use a different framework other than Angular. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but still waiting on some bindings to be built. Yeah, I'm really excited, though. Yeah. I'm really excited. Um, so, the starting the Ionic project in Ionic 4, the uh, differentiating part, usually just Ionic start for Ionic 3. Mm -hmm. Um, we need to add this dash dash type equals angular and that's why I think where you'll be putting in view or react later Correct. on So look forward to that. Yeah, and this is all in beta too uh, Ionic 4 is not you know production ready. Yeah, that's, that's Important to note. although I do know people who have it in their production. Yeah, apps. I mean actually just really anything in beta a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people do yeah. run things in uh, production um, We're gonna integrate with Cordova And uh, yeah, there, we're also going to be doing uh, later on a video with Ionic 4 with Capacitor. Mm -hmm. And uh, Capacitor can work with Cordova, but it doesn't oh. need Cordova. Okay. Yeah, but they can work alongside together, which is good because there's still a lot of uh, packages that are in Cordova that aren't in Capacitor. Sure. So, you know, you want to be able to use both for the moment. And then uh, we're going to turn down the Ionic Pro SDK, which is great. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. And then Geolocation 4. So then we're going to add in the Geolocation plugin. Pretty simple, just adding in the plugin. But uh, then here's one uh, little trip up that you might not see. Um, normally adding in the Geolocation NPM install. Uh, you would just have the without beta, but mm -hmm. for this one, just add the at beta for the current moment. It might change in the future. Check the docs. And then after that, we're going to open up and... Uh, some code. Do some code. Yeah. Oh, not over there. So, first thing you want to do is go to the app module and... This is also a little bit different from importing with Ionic 3. Uh, with Ionic 4, you're going to have to add this slash ngx at the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll uh, make it work on Ionic 4. And then we're going to add this here. All right. And then uh, just like the Ionic 3, you need to add a special little bit down at the bottom of your config.xml file just for iOS and I'll put that right there because iOS is special because iOS is special <laughs> well in a good way yeah, yeah I mean they, they have their security yeah they, they, that's good I can't blame them um, so after we've added that in we'll go to the HTML mm -hmm. and uh, this is going to be pretty much exactly the same as the the uh, Ionic 3 implementation um, just a latitude, a longitude, and a button to trigger the longitude, or trigger the geolocation. You could put this in your ion view to enter or something like that, but mm -hmm. we're using a button just so people know that we're hitting it. So skip over to the JavaScript. Um, we are going to import at the top, like always. And then, so we're importing, and then we're just going to add the ngx to the end of that. And then they don't create a constructor with Ionic 4. You have to add that in yourself. So we'll just add that. Yeah, I know this, is, this looks more angular now. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think like how it was before. Do we have the at component decorator in Ionic 3? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, so I'm just adding two variables in here. And then uh, we'll add in the all important geolocation function. And this will be also exactly the same as adding three. Mm -hmm. you know, we're just uh, asking geolocation for the current position. The response will pull latitude and longitude out of it. And then those will bind to the HTML. And I think that's about it. Mm, so okay. let's run it. I got a Cordova, right? I got Cordova. <laughs> John's been working with me long enough that he knows I always forget the Cordova part of it. I'm just so excited about Capacitor. <laughs> I just forget about <laughs> yeah. Cordova. Everyone's excited about Capacitor. Yeah. Except like anyone in my family. Mom's not excited? Hmm. Mom is slightly excited. Okay. Yeah. I thought so. But she's slightly excited about a lot of things. So, yeah. you know. Anything that you get excited about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She'd love to talk to me about it for a while. Yeah. Hours. But I love it. I love my mother. Don't anyone <laughs> take that the wrong way. She's a great woman. Um, so this is a error we were seeing again nice. in Ionic 3. Um, Ionic 3 isn't shipping with... Uh, simulator access so you just need to add it in this is a line with three commands that I've made uh, nice and simple um, you CD into your iOS platform uh, npm install the simulators and then CD out and that should clean all that up then we'll run again and we will see a beautiful project yeah, yeah. production ready production Ship production it. ready Hmm. I probably shouldn't be drinking during these. You know, I was going to drink after I saw you. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So. We're drinking. This is tea, by the way, not. Uh, uh, that's a good call out. <clears throat> Gotta let people know. Although I don't know if anyone would actually care. Alright, and then we see our iPhone X uh, booting up right there. Mm -hmm. And you got the iPhone X. Yep. So jealous. I like it. Yeah, yep. the notch. The so notch and all. Yeah. Um, so there we have our app, just like an Ionic 3. Mm -hmm. And okay. test it. All. Um, just one little simple thing before we go. Uh, one thing I forgot. Um, Ionic 4, you actually don't need the button decorator. Okay. Just the ion, ion button decorator. I wonder why I haven't dressed styles. Yeah, yeah. So that's <laughs> why it looks funky. It still works, but uh, if you just do button I. You just do ion button, mm -hmm. it'll look like a normal button. Gotcha. Yeah. That's about it. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have another uh, video, Ionic 4 with Capacitor, and uh, we'll have that on our channel soon. Awesome. See ya. See ya.